Do you ever just feel overwhelmed? If I'm being honest with you, the last couple of weeks, I've really struggled with feeling overwhelmed. And to be honest, when I get caught up in these feelings of overwhelm, it's easy to start feeling desperate. Like there's no, there's no way out. I look at the world and the wars that are happening, all the humanitarian crisis that exists. I look at our own country and all the anger and fighting and hatred that exists. I look at my own life and the difficulty in relationships and just like trying to be better, right? Trying to follow in the way of Jesus and just feeling like, oh man, it's overwhelming. It's so much. So how do I deal with that? How do I get better? How, how do I fix it? Well, the truth is I can't get better. I can't fix it. The Bible makes it clear that we are completely incapable of choosing what is right on our own. But the Bible also teaches us that if we put our faith and trust in Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we can walk in the good works that God has set before us. We can become like Jesus. We can live in his way. And so as I'm thinking about being overwhelmed and feeling a little bit desperate today, I'm reminded of Psalm chapter 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He renews my life. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And even when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, the darkest place in my life, I will feel no evil because his rod and his staff comfort me. And this week, I've just been like diving into this passage and just saying, Jesus, help me to really trust you this much. I feel overwhelmed. I feel just a little bit desperate, Lord. And I've been trying really hard to make it better and to fix it, but I can't. Jesus, help me to trust you. Help me to trust that you are the good shepherd, that you are leading me and guiding me into good things that the way of Jesus doesn't matter what the rest of the world's got going on. It doesn't matter what turmoil exists. It doesn't matter what storm there is. In the way of Jesus, I can have peace because Jesus is strong, because Jesus is able, because he has overcome the world. And even when things in my heart feel like turmoil, I can trust that Jesus has a way forward, that Jesus has a plan for me, that Jesus is going to help me. My prayer for you and for me as we continue on in this December and this holiday season is that we would trust Jesus, that we would let him lead us and let him guide us, that we would let go of the control that we want to try and have in our own lives and that we would embrace the control that God truly has to make all things new.